Hey everybody, this is Shirlene with Shirl's Crafty World. And I'm coming to you with chapter 10 of our book, Life Interrupted. I'm sorry, here I am, but it has been kind of crazy these last holiday days. And uh, so I just wanted to get through this. Uh, chapter 10, the title is There's More, where that came from. The scripture is Jonah 3 and 1. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time. So in the first half of the chapter, um, Priscilla talks about how Jonah was given a second chance. It says the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. And she was saying how exciting that is. That God is a God of second chances. And a lot of us have had 300, 400, 500 chances. And God still loves us. And he keeps giving us more chances. Um, more chances to, to get it right. To be obedient to him. To serve him. To walk in the path he wants us to walk in. To fulfill the purpose he wants us to, to fulfill. It says, it's worth praising him for every day. The father who has a tender heart toward his children, who derives real enjoyment out of forgiving, who loves us enough to let us try again. So praise God that we serve a God that will give us a second chance. And in giving us that second chance, we are to celebrate Okay, she talks about how it says dance of the redeemed. She talks about how she went, she grew up in a church that didn't have people dancing. They clapped hands and they might have got a little loud, but some churches, predominantly black churches, but you see some white churches now too, that uh, or Caucasian churches that have dancing or people dancing in the Holy Spirit, and um. She went to a church and um, there was a young man that always danced in the church. And he, I guess I'm assuming he was the only one because she saw fit to seek him out and question why. And he shared his testimony with her about as a teenager, he had took someone's life and his 18th birthday was soon to come and during his 18th birthday he would have to go from juvenile detention to an actual grown-up prison and he was very concerned and very afraid because it was nothing like juvenile detention so um he shared with her that when he went to court that the grandmother of the young man's life he took asked the court to have leniency on him and to give him a second chance so that he could live his life and make something of himself and the court did so so when he turned 18 he was actually set free and just had to be on parole and he thanks God every day for that second chance because he could have been locked up in a grown up prison dealing with who knows what up in there and so um i remember last time when we read this book that i had shared how my son had coded um he had gotten a bad batch of uh marijuana because he used to smoke weed and um i think it had they later found out that it had fentanyl in it and he had coded not once but twice and both times they were able to pull him back. So, of course, me as his mother praised God for a second chance for my child. But I had thanked God for the years that I had with him because I was told at 19 that I would never be a mother. So to be a mother and then to have my son with me over 20 years, um, I just said, Lord, your will be done. But Lord saw fit to give him a second chance. And to smack him upside the head and say, hey, I got work for you to do. It's not time for you to come home yet. So um, 
he has I'm happy to say he has since put the the weed down even though it just became legal in Arizona but he doesn't do it anymore because he realizes that any kind of drugs is is not good for you um and I just thank God for giving him that second chance he serves the Lord he loves the Lord he um whenever he calls now he always prays before he hangs up prays with us so he shares scripture we all share scripture with each other and keep each other um encouraged so and you better believe if my legs was working i would have cut a step when they told me that they were able to bring him back so my hands still work though i could still wave my hands and say thank you jesus hallelujah for the second chances and that is one of my greatest things that i miss is being able to cut a step for the Lord. But with my knees being the way they are and my back the way it is, I haven't been able to do so in many, many years. But if it's God's plan, it'll happen again. And so now she knows why he goes forth in the dance and why he celebrates. And we are to celebrate. Second chances are for celebration. We ought to celebrate the Lord when he gives us a second chance because everybody doesn't get that second chance. Somebody woke up this morning or somebody planned last night to wake up this morning thinking that they were going to fulfill whatever they had on their to-do list and it wasn't so. They didn't rise. And uh, so we ought to praise God when we get those second chances. And it says, second chances are a sign of God's deep abiding love for you. And that is so true. We are to appreciate, right? Celebrate and appreciate God for giving us a second chance. And we are to also use that second chance to be obedient to what he has for us. So that we are, you know, using our second chance to, to get closer to God to walk with God, to show others about God. Um, And that, you know, second chances are not meant to be for you to turn around and go back to the same stuff you were doing before. So second chances, none of us deserves them. Yet the master gardener comes to where we are, pick us up in our useless, discarded, discouraged condition and replants us in the places where he knows we most likely to grow. It's so funny because the world has a saying of bloom where you're planted. But if you can, if you know that God is planting you, then you know that there's opportunity for you to grow. And there's a reason. But see, there's a lot of times people forget that in your darkest times sometimes, because it's dark down in that dirt, you know, that's when God has you planted. And he's he's forming you and, and molding you and preparing for you to break forth through the dirt, right? And his sunshine, sun, S-O-N, shines, Jesus shines down on you and you begin to bloom and, and come forth and do your part in the world, you know? And I just thank God that, yes, you are to bloom where you are planted because you are planted not for your amusement, but for someone else to enjoy you, for someone else to see the beauty of the Lord in your life. Amen? Amen. And it says, God hasn't given up on us, my friend. Aren't you glad? Thank the Lord for a second chance. Amen. And so that is chapter 10. Thank the Lord for a second chance. Celebrate, appreciate, and bloom where you are planted. I hope this has blessed your soul. And I want to thank you for coming to Shrew's Crafty World. And we'll see you next week for Chapter 11 of Life Interrupted. Be blessed. Bye for now.